Everybody's talking about the division among the American people and in our politics. Here's where we agree. Both Democrats and Republicans agree that there's something broken in our democracy. The single most important thing that this 117th Congress can do is to pass voting rights. Voting rights are preservative of all other rights, and tomorrow we will offer to have a debate on the John Lewis Voting Rights Advancement Act. That's the right name, John Lewis. John Lewis is not just a figure in a history book. He is our hero. And I'm proud to say that he was my parishioner. I went with him on more than one occasion for souls to the polls. We went to vote on Sunday after church because voting is a sacred undertaking. A vote is a kind of prayer for the world we desire for ourselves and for our children. This is not just a political moment. It's a moral moment for America. And so we ask our Republican colleagues to at least agree to have a debate on voting rights. This John Lewis Voting Rights Advancement Act carries the lessons of John Lewis's legacy. Namely, it reestablishes the important tool of preclearance. The Supreme Court asked the Congress to fix preclearance in 2013, and all of these years later, we've yet to do it. And so it's time for us to get it done. It's past time, in fact. We've got to get voting rights achieved in this Congress. The American people are counting on us. The Freedom to Vote Act puts the fire out. In this 911 state of emergency in our democracy, the Freedom to Vote Act puts the fire out. The John Lewis Voting Rights Advancement Act is about building a fire station for future fires. And we wouldn't be dealing with some of these terrible draconian measures in Georgia right now if preclearance were on the books. And so let's get this done. And we don't mind that Republicans don't agree with us on all of the nuances of these laws. We're just saying, let's have a debate. How can the most important deliberative body on the planet refused to have a debate. Everybody's talking about the division among the American people and in our politics. Here's where we agree. Both Democrats and Republicans agree that there's something broken in our democracy. Well, if there's something broken, let's go on the floor of the United States Senate and talk about what that is. Mm -hmm. The American people deserve no less.